I would start on two shot and one on Okay, well, if you could, just stay with him the whole oh, time. And on this, if you can get the twos and the one, you know, on that. But I need to definitely have one isolated on Tom. Yeah, on Tom. Okay. Well, Tom, have you thought about enlisting the military in the last few days? No. <laughs> no, I haven't. Tell me about being a Navy pilot, what it would be like, even though you didn't do it for any length of time. Uh, you had the, the sensation and experience of it. Yeah, I spent about 10 months uh, overall in development of the piece and then shooting it. Uh, what's it like to be an F-14 fighter mm -hmm. pilot? It's a tough life. You know, you really have to be dedicated. Uh, they only take the best of the best, you know, to get to where they are. And Top Gun is only the top 1% of naval aviators gets to uh, go there and, uh, you know, go into ACM, air combat maneuvering. So it's a tough life, especially in the Navy. You're living on a carrier for nine months. You're risking your life every day uh, when you're going up. Landing on a carrier is... Uh, you know, frightening, to say the least, experience. Did you have any preconceived notions about what these guys would be like before you met them? Uh, not really. You know, I wasn't really quite sure what, what to get into. I mean, I, I'm the type of person I, I want to get into it and then, you know, then see how it is. Mm -hmm. So were these guys kind of crazy, a lot of them? No, they're very sound. Uh, there is a, that cockiness, you know, some of them, when, when you get into them, but it's, it's a thing of being sure of themselves, you know, I mean, they're, they're extremely bright, you confident. Know, confident, you have to be, you've got to know every nut and bolt in that aircraft, and uh, the thing is, when you go up there every day and you are risking your life, I mean, you read in the paper that, you know, s you know something uh, goes wrong and you read about an aircraft going down, uh, that happens, you know. I mean, that happens, so you really have to know what you're doing and what you're talking about with that. But there's a compassion, you know, there's a love of flight and, uh, and a fascination with I mean, flying twice the speed of sound is uh, quite an amazing feat. When you probably saw the film, it was quite different than when you were shooting it. What were your thoughts after you walked out the completed movie? Uh, well, I, I remember I went to rushes every night. I, I was very happy. I mean, it, it was what I had expected. Was it spectacular as, as you expected? Yeah, I was real happy. I mean, I was seeing the, the air footage. I mean, I saw it in the early stages, uh, you know, the first cut, and then as it went on. So, I mean, I was very happy with the way it was forming. I mean, because the important thing when I got involved is I wasn't interested in making a war picture, you know, which this could have easily turned mm -hmm. out to be. Uh, getting involved in it, I wanted, you know, the character. And same with Don, you know, Simpson and Jerry Bruckheimer, really. I mean, we were all striving for that. Uh, just getting involved with Maverick and who he is. What is a fighter pilot? You know, what is it that makes this guy tick? And get people involved with that. So there was an effort not to make a Rambo or an Iron Eagle. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I thought there was. Some quick things about your career. You've been extremely busy in the last couple of years. Um, when you're making a movie, this is, I'm sure the answer will have to be yes, do you care? But maybe you'll pick up what I'm saying. How important is to you, is, is the film's success to you? Well, the thing is, is that when you get involved in a film and you spend 10 months making a movie, mm -hmm. uh, the result is not as important as what you're going through. I do not choose a film looking for a result. I look for a result in terms of what am I going to get from this piece? What, what, what can I communicate through this piece? What am I going to learn you know, about myself and actor? And, and see, does it challenge me? You know, on, and on what levels? Uh, I mean, each film that I've done, I've been very specific you know, in the choices and, uh, you know, just the overall experience. I mean, the result uh, essentially is, is gravy, you know. What about the movie, the, the uh, movie you've done with Paul Newman now recently? That oh, was yeah, coming Marty out, so. Scorsese directed. What kind of guy is he? Newman or Scorsese? Both, Paul? but let's talk Paul Newman first. He, he's, uh, well, first of all, he's a man who is still striving, uh, learning about himself and growing, you know, as an actor and, you know, a person, and he... Uh, I mean, that makes you feel good seeing, you know, me being a young artist, you know, coming up, and that's how I feel about it, you know, that it's still, it's, it's an endless struggle, you know, and, uh, I mean, he's terrific, you know. Is he a nice guy, or kind of a warm guy, sensitive? Very warm, very unassuming, uh, generous. Do he teach you anything about how to handle yourself as a, maybe an actor or someone who's going to be successful as he is? Well, you just watch him, and you're around him learning. I mean, here's a man who's his career spanned three decades and uh, just being around him and seeing and hearing all the stories you know you hear about you know the old Hollywood and everything that he went through and it's, uh, I mean, it's it was fascinating so you're still glad you became an actor oh yes I okay am. great yes, I thanks thank you
All right. It was terrific, though. <coughs> Being sitting there. Yeah, he's. I've seen him in a race. Drink. I've seen him in a race. Right.